right, guys, you want to know how to make a five minute whistle? Let's get to it. All right, so first, you want to get a scrap piece of wood. This one is cut into a square, uh, about three quarter inch by three quarter inch. Okay, so we're just going to cut it down to, what to say, three inches. All right, now that we got our piece here, we're going to mark the bit about about a half inch off the bottom of this block. Okay, so it's right about there. And then we're going to drill a hole right down the center of this. There's going to be a lot of people waiting me for this, but I'm uh, going to use my hands to hold this. I'm not the brightest person here, so do not do what I do. Just uh, do as I say. Alright, so we didn't go deep enough. Now to save time, and again to be dangerous, I'm just going to move it up. I don't want to raise the plate up here. I'm just going to move this up. Put a little block so I don't drill through my finger. The only safe thing I'm doing. Turn this back on, and then just push up till I get that new pace. Right there. And then just turn it off. Empty it out. All right, now we're back over here at the band saw. So look at your hole, make a line at the top of the hole, straight across, and go about three quarter of an inch back and make a line straight up. Even with the, the line that you made there, because what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut straight down there on that line. So we open up this hole, but we're gonna make a V right here. And then that diagonal cut, just literally, just maybe a 45 degree angle. So here we go. Alright, so if you look, you see that opening that it created right there. Hopefully, let's see here. Okay, so you, it looks it's like almost like an oval. Okay, and then we're going to take the dowel rod that we got. And remember, this is the same size dowel rod as the drill bit that we used. Um, it don't matter what size holes uh, that you make. Uh... Just get the same size dowel rod as the drill bit because what we're going to do, we're going to stick it in here and it's going to be glued in. But we got to make a reed and that's where this comes in handy. So what we're going to do here is you can take a file and you can shave. If you look here, it's kind of half shaved off the top and you go through this way. It's not perfectly round. Okay, just shave the top. I'm going to use the bandsaw here. It just makes it a little bit easier. Uh, and I'm just going to cut off a little more than this here, a little longer. Okay, just about an inch long. Now you got yourself a reed, and we're just going to insert it into that hole. And if you look, you're going to stop it. This is where a lot of people make a mistake, and it doesn't work. You're going to stop it even with the down part to this, okay? Now, it's going to be long, but we're just going to test it out by blowing into it and see if we can get any whistle out of it. You might have to play with it to get it there. So we know that's going to work. So what we're going to do, we're going to get some glue, get some wood glue here. And this uh, Gorilla Wood Glue seems to be the best here. Take a look at some of my other videos and you'll be able to see this Gorilla Glue is uh, this some serious stuff. So anyhow, 
Just put some on the bottom side of this dowel rod. This hoax to open it first, don't it? Just put some on it. You ain't got to do that much. Spread it out. No big deal. Okay, and then again, just insert that back in. And remember the height that you need to be there. You know, even with the the down part there. All right, now we're just gonna let that set up for a few minutes, and we'll be right back. All right, so we're back, and I really hope I gave enough time to dry here, because uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the bandsaw, and we're just gonna try to cut the rest of that off, just flush with it. Um, it might still be wet, but if it is, I'll show you how to correct that. Well, that worked out pretty good. Let's make sure it still works. Perfect. All right. So that's about it. That's your five minute uh, whistle here. It's real perfect uh, to put uh, in a pocket. You can carry it around, go to the park, blow it at your dog. They get pretty loud. Um, this one here, you can see it. It's just a double whistle. It's the same way. You can do the exact same steps. Just make sure you have a little bigger block. And uh, there's obviously a lot of different ways to do this. Uh, I'm not the safest at it. Um, but it works. And uh, when you get done to this stage, you can take it and sand the corners down. Make it all smooth and make it to how you like. Um, if you liked any of this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And uh, next video is going to be up Sunday. Thank you.